Good evening, good afternoon, everybody. I got to bring this word real quick because it's burning in my heart like fire. And many of you children of God that are serving God wholly and solely, you are going to be experiencing warfare like these. But if God did not permit it, it won't stand. But if God permit it, you know it's God that gave it to you. So you're going to be experiencing certain things in your life, in this day and in this time, in this season. You're going to be experiencing warfare that the enemy will send your way. You will bless, you will, breathe. you will get blessed with something and then all of a sudden that thing will be taken away from you. Just like that. God did not send it. It wasn't from God. When God sent it, it will stay stabilized. It will become strong. But when God did not, do not send it, excuse me, it will be down, removed out of your life. Whether you like it or not, it will be removed. God sent promotion. And I want to share this with you guys because I feel like many of us will be going through this in this time. And the Lord wants me to just let you know that it was not your time. It was not for you. Let him have it. Because what he has for you is greater. What he has for you is bigger. What he has for you is idiocratic. Just faction made just for you. But when the devil sent you something, he will give it to you, that's right. And then, in the twinkle of an eye, because you're not giving your life to him, because you don't serve him, because he's not the chief overseer over your life, he would take that back from you. And let me explain what I'm saying. So, I had a friend of mine that experienced this. I also have experienced it also. And this is something we all were believing God for at the same job. And I was believing God. I really thought this is what God wanted me to do. And sometimes we have to be very sensitive to the spirit of the living God because sometimes what we are thinking within ourselves is not what is not what God has ordained for us. And many times we end up putting ourselves in situations that we don't belong in. And the Lord will find a way, however way, because He sees your future. He sees your beginning and the end. He sees what's going to happen as you go through with this, uh, 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 whatever it is that you uh, you have put yourself into. So in order for you, him to rescue you out of this thing, there's going to be some tears. And the devil hits it because even through the tears, you still love God. Even through the heartache, you still praise him. Even through the demotion, you still say, God, I trust you. Had it not been for you, I don't know, I would have, I would have still been sitting there thinking, not knowing everybody is pleading against you there. They, 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 they are praying, praying, not P-R-A-Y. They are P-R-A-E-Y-I-N-G against you. So that whatever position they see you in, you can lose it. Why? Because they are jealous of you. There are people in this season. Oh, beloved, be careful. I'm saying exactly what the Lord is placing on my heart. There are people in this season that you thought you are, you've been around and you think that they love you. They don't love you. Those are what we call... Uh, 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 friendly enemies friend enemies yes this is what they are they come around you to pretend as if they like you but really what they're coming to do is that they're coming to seize your blessing and they're coming to to, 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 to to turn that thing around why because they're jealous of you many of them when I started my position on the job as a, a, a program a coordinator I could sense the envy the jealousy I could sense the division in the house I was in, uh, uh, that I was running, I could sense all of those things in my spirit. And I began to ask God, Father, what is it that you want me to do in this season? And I asked my other friend too, because she's a child of God. And I said, what are you going to do? She said, I'm going to wait on God. God has got to do something because I'm not going to stay in this position. If I know that I have things to do for God and the things that I tell me to do, I, I cannot abide by them. And I said to God, God, you must vindicate us. 
you must set us free. Even if they demand us to a, 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 a lower level, I'll take it. Why? Because I have an assignment on my life to do for God. I have a, a, a mandate on my life to accomplish for the kingdom. I have things that I need to do for my father. I'm after my father's business. I'm after kingdom business. I'm after building people up and empowering them to go forth in their destiny. So it don't matter where you bring me down to. Whatever level you bring me down to, I will still stand up. I will still stand up on the words of God, knowing that he is the Alpha and Omega, knowing that he is the beginning and the end, knowing that no matter what you try to do to me, it won't prosper like Job. It won't prosper. And they did everything they could. I mean, the house was so demonic. It was really demonic. And I was like, God, I have to get out of here. I have to, we have to change environment. We have to change surroundings. This place is, is, is well, there are people that call themselves Christians in this house, but they are really friendly miss. Friendly miss, if you guys know what I'm talking about. There are people that sees your progress. They sees. Do you not know? Do you not know? Not do, or do you not understand that the zealous sees what's upon your life? There's a cloud of glory upon your life, beloved. There's an anointing attached to your life. There is power that the Lord has placed inside of you that they want to take away from you. And in order for them to do that, they're gonna have to do all kinds of stuff to make sure that you go down. But let me tell you something. The Lord sent me to tell you that even while you are going down, He is with you. You will not go down. Your down going is for your uplifting. Your down going is because God sees your future. Your down going is because God do not want you to be at that place that you are. So He rather demote you than promote you. Whatever the devil gives you, He takes it back because He knows it was not from Him. So don't be discouraged in this season with the kind of warfare you find yourself going through. And you're asking yourself, because that's what I ask God, God, why me? Why me? How can you just promote me and then to, to, uh, 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 demote me at the same time? And the Lord spoke it just as loud as ever. Just I want you to tell to everybody that your promotion comes from me. And when I give you something, it'll stay. And when I don't give you something, it'll disappear. Why? Because it's not for me. I can see the beginning from I can see the, the beginning from the end. The end from the beginning, yes, I can see that, the Lord says. And so I know you're beginning from the end. And because I know that, I'm not going to allow you to stay in that demonic zone. Although the powers I have placed in you is crushing them really hard. This is why they have to get you out of there. Because your power, the Holy Ghost and the fire is scratching their hairs. It's stomping on them. It's taking them out one by one. Why? Because you're a child of the living God, Yeshua. So don't be discouraged in this season. Keep your head up high. Keep your head up high. Keep your head up high, God says. Watch out. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Be alert. Do not compromise, no matter what it is. The three Hebrew brothers were demoted. <laughs> oh. I always talk about the three Hebrew brothers because... When the king wanted to put them in a high place, they said, no, we can't compromise. Because when we go into the high place, you guys will, will treat us as if we are gods. And the Bible says to us, our father Yeshua says that there should be no other God besides him. I don't want it. I don't care what you have to do to me, but I don't want it. Tell somebody, I don't want it. I don't care what you got to do to me. Do whatever it is you want to do to me, but I don't want it. I don't want your blessings, devil. I don't want your blessings. Take it. I don't want your money. Take it. I don't want your jobs. Take it. I don't want your position. Take it. I want what God has for me. Because what God has for me is idiosyncratic. It was tailor-made, fashioned, just for life. And just for you. So don't be discouraged. Encourage yourself in the Lord like David did. Encourage yourself in the Lord. The Bible said after Saul sought after David so much. So much so that David was just confused. He had to go hide in cages away from his enemy Saul. Why? Why was Saul so petrified of David and so hated David so bad? Because he saw the anointing that used to be on his life. 
is now on the life of David. He could see it. Oh, oh my Lord God Almighty. The devil can see. But not like God's children can. He doesn't have he doesn't have the eyes that God has given us. But he can definitely see the glory on you. And so don't be disturbed in this season. Don't turn around. You just know that when, the, when you are down place, it's because God did not allow that to happen. Because he knows your future. He knows your beginning from the end. He knows your coming in and going out. He knows you. And that's the word for you today. Promotion and demotion at the same time. God bless you. I love you. Please subscribe. Please let this let this let this one go viral. Please listen to it and share it with people. Please comment in Jesus' name. Talk later.